um, and um, an interesting topic is years ago, uh, well before before the days of transistors and integrated circuits, uh, the only means of amplification or re receiving or transmitting um, radio broadcasts were, were with valves. You see, um, now um, valves require a high voltage and. Uh, one means of achieving a high voltage um, from a car supply, which is usually 12 volts, such as this battery here, out of the wagon, visibility wagon. Um, <clears throat> uh, some people have suggested to me about, oh, why don't you just connect a transformer uh, secondary, the low tension secondary, to a car battery? I'm sure it'll find it works. Well, I knew that well, it wouldn't work. All you get is a puff of smoke and a load of burning. Anyway, so the early engineers wanted to make it so that we could have electronic equipment in cars and other vehicles. One method was this, which is uh, what they call a vibrator um, or an interrupter, if you prefer that sort of term. And what happens is that this little armature would move from side to side, closing and opening these contacts and creating effectively a square wave that the that the transformer could use in order to boost the voltage. Uh, another, another means by which you could generate a higher voltage is with these things. Now this is called a motor generator. They've also been described as rotary transformers, um, which is, uh, but then again people get, get confused with Variax. So anyway, what would happen is that you would supply the 12 volts on, on this side, which is effectively the primary, and you would take your HT, in this particular instance 250 volts, um, from the secondary. So this would spin. Anyway, we're going to um, boot it up and see it work. So we connect. This would normally be wired in. So you could actually use this device to get a battery valve 100 watt amplifier because this motor generator, aka rotary transformer, will actually deliver 100 watts. <clears throat> so it, um, the important point to remember, of course, is that these devices aren't polarized, so they'll work either way around. So we connect that one there. To the LT, and there we go. That, that started up with a bit of a. Anyway, <laughs> this here is a 42 watt silicon dark um, light bulb. Um, it will. This device is the highest voltage we could obtain, and also we had to find a bayonet fitting for the um, um, light bulb for the, for the light bulb and the connection. So, if I switch it off, you'll hear it's the a halogen, bulb. halogen bulb. If I switch it off, you might hear it speed up. There we go. Now that's off load. The moment you apply a load, it slows down. Anyway, um, this was probably built in the 19, I don't know, I guess, 1940s, 1950s, who knows, and it's still working as good as the day it was made. Made in England. Yes, yeah, like nothing is anymore. That's <laughs> it. Anyway, thank chats. you for watching. Okay. All right, bye. Bye.